most respected speaker for the session, Sri Sri Thakur. My dear friend, Dakesh, Honorable Council Member, Sri Murthy Sir, Sri Dombeji, Vijay, my good friends, professional colleagues, waiting for the wonderful session which is in waiting for you. Good morning to all of you. Last two days, for about four or five days, I was in Chennai. What I do in the morning is to look at the sky and see how it is. <laughs> Most of the days, I carry a you know 50-50 uh, you know feeling that okay it may or may not. But today it is very sunny, so therefore I am happy. I am happy. I am happy beyond explanation. Good morning, uh, Govardhan sir. Good morning, Ramesh. Sir, Mr. Gobalakshan is the was the president of our institute. So we have we have been discussing in this session. We have been dis discussing about the changes in the business landscape and how to empower our future ready financial finance professionals. So we've been one thing which we have seen in the last deliberation is you should always expect the unexpected, the black swans. Is going to come to our life. Is going to be repetitive in nature. We never thought there will be a, uh, you know, this sort of calamity in 2020. 2000. I still remember one of the greatest uh, speaker on budgets came to Kochi in 2019, and they said, "Lucky China got corona. We are safe from corona." And he's number one lawyer of Chartered Accountant, senior lawyer. He said, "Luckily, China got, and we did get. So, we are, our economy is going to go up. So, we cannot predict, friends. We cannot. We just cannot predict what is going to happen next moment, next day. Therefore, what we are supposed to do? There are certain things which we should do. We should empower ourselves. I always, uh, people used to make fun of me. When did you stop studying? My answer is, once you stop studying." That be the beginning of your fall. I get so insecure when youngsters quote certain latest case laws, be it GSTs, ITs, or IBCs. How they articulate, how VJ works on Excel. All those things actually, you know, encourage me to stay updated. Like what I said yesterday. There was a time when, at least in Kerala, it was a big, big, you know, uh, you know, drama that computer will take away jobs. When I was working, I just take one more minute, sir. I will not take your time. When I was working with ICICI Bank, there was a branch in Calicut. Calicut is a place, northern part of Kerala, rich of funds, generally in NRA funds. Okay, mainly, 80 percent, you know, 80 percent of the funds come from. You know, non-resident uh, Gulf, uh, NRA accounts, majorly from Gulf area. So my uh, person is supposed to get a 50 lakh checks from State Bank of India, Nadakkaavu branch. Those who are from Kerala can remember Nadakkaavu branch, 50 lakhs. When I went there, the face of the manager was some sort of scary, very irritated. Like he is very irritated about something which he don't want to disclose. On top of it, I am going with the 50 lakh checks to take the money from his account to my account in ICICI Bank. Definitely, he is not going to treat me with a flower or bouquet. So I said, "What happened, sir? You look so worried." He said, "No, no, um, there's a problem here." I said, "What happened? See, we can always give you this fund transfer to the SBA, Madras account, and all those things. But what happens is..." We thought of computerizing the entire thing on the Saturday evening and Sunday whole day. Monday, when people come back, we will get to see a computer. This was not properly conveyed to the staff, and the staff dismantled the entire computer. Now the same staff, they will not work if there is no computer. So therefore, that was the uncertainty those days, and now we can just say. You know, change of event. So, what we are supposed to do is empower, empower yourself. You need to upgrade yourself. 
attitude to change and and according to me if we feel that okay i have achieved enough enough is not enough i always look at uh, in, in global relations that whenever we sit together or have a coffee together he's always have some idea this time he has given me a triggered an idea which i thought i'll do it in sirs thank you so much for the idea it will definitely bring in lot of momentum in the practice space so i'm just for the time i'm just going to cut the uh, you know wrap up my speech uh, right at this thank you so much to idhar sir for coming down for those who are not i'm sure all of us know coin coin is one of the major players one of the major players in advertising and brand promotion thing when i was doing my college just came out of the college one of my close friends joined coin coin up in 1991 used to pay a dividend of 400% For 30 years back, they used to pay, pay a percentage, I mean, dividend of 400 percent. Very closely held those days. I don't know what latest dynamics. I don't know. Thank you so much for coming down, sir. And we look forward for an enriching session, friends. Believe me, this is going to be a lot of there will be a lot of takeaways. What he has planned is, he said, at what time your next session starts? I said 10 o'clock. Okay. He said he'll have the specific then. He said, John, you have some uh, clarification, some doubts. You can always mail it to him. Or you can mail it to S I R C. We will take it for okay. Whatever you have done. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for your nice welcome, uh, Mr. Chairman. My request that our Chairman honour uh, our Shridhar Garu with a small memento. So what can we give back except love? And as a token of our love and affection, is a small memento from S I R C. Right. 
So I have a driver. This is all I have in terms of an establishment. But what is the what is the asset that I have? The asset I have is the ability to think differently. Okay. So when uh, Shankar sir spoke to me, um, you know, I was, he, he obviously knew about my background, and I was talking about thinking differently, and then. He said, no, I, I want you to talk about how to empower yourself in a fast changing world. This uh, did two things for me, sir. One is that I could not use any of the earlier speeches and then come and give it to you here. Right? It made me think. It made me create a presentation which is completely tailor-made for this audience. Okay? But I usually enjoy this. Because this question of how to empower yourself in a fast changing world is an extremely relevant question. The fast changing world part of it is known to us. But how do I empower myself is the question. Right? Uh, this is the one which is Okay. Thank you. So when do we feel powerless? We all feel powerless sometimes, you know, right? There is a powerlessness when physically when we are exhausted. That is okay. But mentally, there are times when we feel powerless. The most common way people give up their power is thinking that they, they don't have any power. That's the first assumption taken. Right? There are times, for instance, at the end of the month, you know, in the early days of my career, at the end of the month, we, are not, we don't have enough cash, right? I don't assume that I don't have cash at all and start borrowing money. I know that there are places where my wife would have stacked some for cash, right? So I can go and actually touch a it. So then she changed the places and so on. The whole point is about that we have the power, but we assume that we don't have the power, right? So the, 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 the position I am taking is that the most common way people give up their power is by thinking that they don't have any, right? So what stops us from empowering ourselves, right? One of the things that helps us, happens is that, you know, for getting things done and what to do about it, right? If I am in an action mode, I have to move from point A to point B, either mentally or physically. If I am not in an action mode, I can lie in the bed, there is no issue. But when the day starts, I have to do something and I am not feeling empowered to do it or I don't feel, I feel very tired, I feel very exhausted and so on and so forth. Now, in 50% of these kinds cases, it's all a mental kind of perspective rather than the physical skin. Very rarely are we so exhausted that we cannot do anything. Okay? So that's the first proposition. What, what is stopping us is the assumption that we don't have the power. The culprit, the culprit very often is our thinking and then group thinking happens. So when we are in a group, right, sometimes for me to state my perspective so that other people can understand takes time, it takes energy, right, and the other people if they raise objections, then I have not thought about my issue, then it's very easy for me to give up. So giving up is something which is a decision that I am taking not because I don't have the power but because I have not thought through issues. There are very often we can buy time when you are in a meeting and there are issues that have been raised for which you don't have the answer rather than giving up it is possible for you to say you know that's an interesting question I have not thought about I am going to take this down is it alright for me to come back to you within 24 hours on this issue? I have tried this every time. I have done it with very, very senior clients, like chairman of the companies, managing directors of the company. They respect you for your honesty when you say, I don't have an answer, but I know how to find the answer. Right? There are some times when the client says, but how will you find the answer? You say you don't have the answer. Then I will say, I have resources that are available. Right? I have friends in similar industries. I can talk to them without divulging the confidential nature of what you are saying. I will take the essence of this whole issue and talk to them about it. They will not know who is the industry, who is the client, what is that problem, nothing. But I will be able to talk to them about that. Right? So how do you change your thinking? 
Now, if you want to see or believe that you have empowerment, you have the power, for you to realize the power, you have to change your thinking. It is like saying that when I am driving a car, right, from neutral I go to first gear, right? Now, if I have to move fast, I have to change the gear. If I don't change the gear, I can't really go faster than first gear, and then it's actually going to create a lot of uh, problem for the engine, lot of problem for the car, etc. I have to change the gear and I have no choice. So it is in life. As I am growing up, I have to change gear. Right? As I grow older, I am 73 now, okay? Then I have to make sure that I am not trying to do all the time on fourth gear. There are times I have to actually slow down. There are times when I say, listen, I let you leave the car behind, let me walk. But we have to really empower ourselves to do the things that is absolutely right for us, irrespective of what age we are in, what state of business we are in. But empowering myself is my job. Nobody can externally empower me. If I go to a guru, for instance, he will help me understand what are the confusion that is in my mind. You know, he will help me get clarity. But from that clarity, I must get the power, and from that, I must be in a position to act. So let me give you an interesting example. Some time ago, Bombay is a city of traffic jams, you know. I was going to uh, the airport and there was a huge traffic jam as you see on one of the roads, okay. And uh, I told my driver, that I'm losing time, I'll do something. So he, he knew, then he went across and then he came back to me saying, I don't think it's going to clear for another two hours. I said, what do you mean another two hours? He said, there is a huge earth moving equipment which has turned turtle. Okay? And they need a special crane to lift it and so on. This traffic is not going to go. Now, I can sit there fretting and fuming and I can sit there saying that I am going to miss the flight, this, that, etc. Then I noticed that there was a whole lot of two wheelers moving on the side. Motorcycle chaps were there. Right? So I saw I had only hand baggage, nothing else. 